welcome to the control system lecture series this is the eighth lecture and in this lecture i will discuss time response analysis standard test signal and this is the part one of the time response analysis i am professor kuldeep sahai so control system as we have studied that has to be analyzed for designing before designing and then anal analysis of a control system can be done in both the domain that is time domain and time domain and frequency domain if the output of control system is analyzed with respect to the time it is called time response analysis if the output is analyzed with respect to the frequency then it will be called the frequency response analysis so generally the control systems are to be performed under both the uh, cases means dynamic state as well as in the steady state condition so in order to analyze the control system we have here in the both cases there are few steps the first step is as we have discussed in the first class is mathematical modeling the second step is to get the differential equation and its laplace transform and then finally its inversion laplace transform inversion so that time response expression can be obtained and finally as time tends to infinity we can uh, get the expression and that we have to analyze since input signals are generally not known ahead of a time then it will be very difficult to express the actual input signal mathematically so like uh, fighter plane tracking system gps tracking system uh, gps tracking of vehicle or radars so in order to analyze that we first of all know the characteristics of actual signal that can affect the performance of the system so first signal is a sudden shock means impulse signal a sudden change means ramp a step signal a constant velocity signal means ramp signal a constant acceleration uh, means parabolic signal so dynamic behavior of a new system is analyzed with the standard test signal so it is very important to know the behavior of standard test signal and that can be useful for the uh, uh, targeting the object so first standard test signal is step signal second one is constant velocity or ramp signal third one is constant acceleration or parabolic signal fourth one is impulse signal and fifth one is sinusoid signal and this fifth signal will be analyzed in uh, will be used in the frequency domain analysis so primarily here four step uh, four signal will be used first one is step signal second one is ramp signal third one is parabolic signal and fourth one is impulse signal because these test signal gives a lots of information so that's why it is very important to analyze it and actual input can be recognized for a certain band of frequency and transient response uh, is revealed by any test signal because it only depends upon the pole of the system not the type of the input 
so that the type of uh, input or uh, type of the system will be discussed later in the uh, fourth part of this time time the response analysis so transient response can be analyzed by any one signal and that is generally used here step signal and for other we can similarly uh, express uh, the relationship or uh, express the output probability so any control system is usually divided into two parts first one is transient response second one is steady state response so here output is ct the output is ct and that ct consists of both transient response as well as the uh, steady state response so this is basically ct and ctt is a transient response csst is a steady state response so what is transient response a part of signal that goes to zero as time becomes very large generally t tends to infinity mathematically t tends to infinity ctt becomes zero so here you can say the you can see that it this part is a tangent part that is uh, rising exponentially after some time it becomes to the reference equal to reference signal and transient is uh, died died down so and the steady state response is the remaining part after the transient died out and a steady state response can vary in a fixed pattern this may be a sine wave ramp signal or unit step so th this is the behavior of the steady state response our first test standard test signal is step signal it is a signal whose value changes from one level usually from zero to another level say a in zero time here it is unit step signal is shown in this diagram so value becomes unit so on the x axis there is a time on the y axis the output that is ut function output is test signal ut it means unit step signal and mathematically if rt is a ut then if uh, ut is means unit step function that will be 1 for time greater than 0 and it would be 0 for time greater than uh, time less than 0 so it will have a magnitude of a and laplace transform of step signal it means u laplace transform of ut uh, rt equal to a upon ut of ut is 1 by s so that laplace transform step signal is a by s second standard test signal is ram signal so here the signal starts at a value 0 and increases linearly with the time linearly with the time so this is the on this axis rt on this axis y uh, 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 on this axis there is a t so with the time it increases linearly and if rt is at means for t greater than 0 and th that will be 0 for t less than 0 so this will keep on moving with the like this and the laplace transform of ram signal is will be a upon s square standard uh, standard signal so and one thing is to be noted that laplace signal is integral of the step signal laplace signal is integral of the step signal and third is standard uh, test signal is parabolic signal 
and it is described as a more gradual application of the input in comparison with the RAM signals here you can say it is a more gradual means at a higher rate so this will be if Laplace signal uh, is represented like rt equal to a t square by 2 for t greater than 0 and this will be 0 for t less than 0 so it will have a slope of a t it will have a slope of a t and the Laplace transform of this parabolic signal will be a upon s cube a upon s cube so and one thing you have to be noted once again the para parabolic signal is integral of a ram signal so this indicates that if you have a, any one of uh, one type of the signal means either a unit step signal ram signal or parabolic signal from that you can obtain other type of the signal by using integrator or differentiator in your laboratory very easily so these are the very important thing that to be remember now fourth signal is impulse signal so as the name shows that it will be impulsive means that change will be very 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 high so here a signal which has a zero value everywhere except at t equal to zero where its magnitude is infinite very for a very short time so this is and practically it is not uh, possible to achieve so it is approximated by impulse of a small bit having a unit area an impulse signal here you can see is a derivative of the step signal so it delta t equal to derivative of the unit step signal so again it is clear that either of the four signal you have in your laboratory or in your workplace you can get any other standard test signal so this simple signal is generally called delta function and has a following property delta t equal to 0 if t is not equal to 0 means here if e, that will be 0 and it will be exist only on this axis and it can also be represented by minus epsilon 2 plus epsilon delta dt equal to 1 where epsilon tends to 0 so that is a unit impulse signal having the area 1 and the width of that signal is very very low since this a is very high this a has a very high compared high magnitude compared to the one upon a so this will have a unit area now laplace transform of unit impulse signal since you we know that delta t equal to 0 for t not equal to 0 and this tends to your laplace term delta t equal to 1 or equal to rs or you can drive here like this unit is impulse signal is derivative of the unit step signal so here you can write unit step signal derivative of and laplace term arm of unit impulse function will be equal to laplace transform of unit step signal and we know that the laplace transform of this signal will be s Laplace transform unit step signal and Laplace transform unit step signal is 1 by s. So, this will be giving the value of 1. So, this way we can obtain the all the standard test signal and we know now the behavior of the standard test signal and this will be very useful for the analysis of the uh, time uh, analysis of the control system in time domain form. Thank you very much. Thank you.